Hello everybody, it's James Amero here at Switchwatch. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Yes, it's Sunday, that time of the week where we scour the eShop and help you find the best games on sale, the bargains that are worth picking up. Now, as we approach the holiday season, Nintendo have given us something to feel very excited about indeed. It's the Black Friday and Cyber Monday EU and UK eShop sale at the moment. And there's loads of them with over 150 on sale. Fear not, for our friends over in the US, there is a sale that's coming to you locally soon. But in the meantime, some of these games are still on sale in the US. We've highlighted those. And don't forget, as the Switch is region free, you're able to pick up games from other stores. Let's jump in and take a look. Kicking things off with my pick of the week, it's a game that I've sunk an unhealthy amount of hours into. Yes, it's The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. If you've ever dreamt of being a stealthy, sneaky thief, an upstanding mage of the College of Winterhold, or a werewolf, Skyrim has you covered. Complete with all of the DLC and expertly ported to the Nintendo Switch, this epic is excellent on the big screen and just as good on the move. At 50% off, what a bargain. This epic from Bethesda is just as good today. If you never played it the first time, you were in for a treat. And if you have, like me, it's a joy to dip back into this world. Jordan, Juan, what are your picks this week? Hey guys, Jordan here with my pick of the week. As it's a Black Friday special, I'm going to have to go for something with a bit of a triple A flavor to get the bargain juices flowing within you. Sorry, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Must lay off the sherry before recording. Anyways, my pick of the week is Octopath Traveler, a decidedly ambitious game mixing classic 2D spriteage, is that even a word? Uh, and 3D elements with a dreamlike haze. The story progression is incredibly idiosyncratic too, which may or may not gel with you, but it's a very unique prospect and if you're into JRPGs, it's pretty essential to at least give it a try. Well, now with a sweet 40% off, you can't say no, if you're a fully digital guy anyways. It's now just £29.99 in the UK and €35.99 in Europe. Personally, I have it physically on a cartridge and I love it. Well, that's my Black Friday pick. Let me know if you've played Octopath before or not, or if this sale has tempted you. Cheers. Now back to that sherry. Wow, James, thank you. What a week, ladies and gentlemen. So many bargains to be had with Black Friday imminent. Now, there was one game that stood out to me, a game that I reviewed recently, and this is my pick of the week. It's Nino Kuni Remastered Wrath of the White Witch. And well, why did I pick this game? Well, because it's 33% off currently in the UK and for our friends in Europe. Unfortunately, for our friends in the US, there is no sale. But remember, you can pick up games anywhere in the world from any e-store as long as you set up a new account and have a new email address for that particular region. Now, this charming tale unfolds through the use of animation storyboarded and has been created by that legendary studio, Ghibli. Music has been composed by the renowned Joe Hiyashi as well. And well, this combines beautiful animated visuals. There's great story here for all of you as well. And that score is just absolutely fantastic. It's going to draw you in and you know how I love my music in game. So this is one of those role playing adventures that I think you're really going to enjoy. So if you haven't picked this one up yet, now's the time to do so. James, ladies and gentlemen, Jordan, take care. See you next week. Why did you set out on this journey? Thanks very much, chaps. And there you have our picks of the week. Let us know what your pick is down below. Of course, there are many more great bargains to be had. Let's carry on. Man and Spark is a game that has been on sale a few times now, but at 90% off, we simply couldn't leave it off of this list. For less than £1, this accomplished dungeon crawler is a steal. It had some real issues at launch, but the devs sorted all of that out, and what we are left with is a solid, just one more run, roguelike game. Thumper is a relentless rhythm-based game that takes no prisoners. It's a simple game, but it's executed really well, and it's so addictive. It works fantastically with headphones in on the move. I can't think of any other game that represents the fear of speed quite as much as Thumper. It's relentless, everything's coming at you and it's all a bit mad. Yes, this one is definitely worth picking up at 75% off. Civilization 6 is such an immense world building game. You can get fully lost in this one and it's such a treat to have this on the move. 
There are no corners cut to bring it onto the Switch, and at 50% off and all three regions that we cover, everyone who is into this type of game can enjoy this. The Discare series produces bonkers, deeply strategic, turn-based games with RPG elements, and Discare 5 doesn't veer from that formula. This game has been out for a couple of years now, and I remember thoroughly enjoying it when I reviewed it back then. It is a menu lover's dream full of systems upon systems. Its cast is quirky, and it feels like reading a manga or watching an anime, drawing the story elements. It didn't have much competition in the genre when this was released, but it still holds up today as a brilliant title, though it's not going to be for everyone. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate has such a simple yet fun formula. Head out to smash epic and huge monsters, take them down in long intense battles, obtain grand loot and rinse and repeat. It's a polished experience and Capcom have added all of the additional areas, items and monsters to tackle in this Switch version. What's more, you can play this with friends locally on your individual Switches for a brilliant time. Rocket League is a mad mashup of soccer and cars in which your aim is to score into the opposing team's goal. It's one of the most competitive games available on the Switch that requires a fair amount of skill to be any good at, but can be enjoyed by players of all skill levels. Online, you have the ability to choose 2 vs 2, 3v3 or 4v4 matches by teaming up with buddies and you can also play locally using split screen. If you and your buddies all have a Switch, you can also play this one in local multiplayer with support for up to 8 players. All in all, this is a great fun mashup game that's worth picking up. Doom on the Nintendo Switch is full of gore and dark fighting as you remember it back in the day, of course with vastly improved graphics, but it still maintains that fast paced furious nature that it always did. Panic Button have got such a well deserved reputation for bringing games onto the Nintendo Switch and they've done the same again here with Doom. A year after the game was originally released, Panic Button went back in and produced a brilliant update for the Switch version that includes improved performance and graphics as well as some nice features like being able to record your fights and add friends. With 50% off, it's definitely one worth considering. With inspiration from stealth greats Metal Gear Solid and Tenchu, Mark of the Ninja Remastered is in its own right one of the best stealth games out there. It has its own personality and style. At its core, what this game is all about is figuring out the optimal way to get through the 2D platform level and executing it perfectly by timing things just right. And it's addictive, it never gets old, you can enjoy this one time and time again. If you've not played this one, then I certainly recommend it. Valley stands out as an indie title with truly gorgeous graphics. It's technically a first person action adventure game, except there's more adventure than action here. It's quite a short title, but one that will wow you with its exploration and its stunning visuals and landscapes. It's refreshing in the sense that it's really about the joy of discovery, whereas most other games these days are of course all about fast pace, quick fighting and all the rest of it. If you're looking for something a little bit different, then you might want to consider Valley. Shantae Half Genie Hero is a brilliant example of side-scrolling platforming at its best. The game looks gorgeous, sounds brilliant and plays exceptionally well also. One of the things I loved when I reviewed this game is the ability to switch into different animals and use different movesets to go back and investigate levels to find a new secret. If you haven't checked that out, you can do so by clicking up at the top right hand side to check out that review. We covered Monster Hunter Generations earlier and God Eater 3 is the closest thing to it. That said, it isn't just a clone, it does have some differences from its own personality through to a different type of battle system. Unlike in Monster Hunter where battles are drawn out and very long, here in God Eater they are much snappier affairs. The art style is brilliant, reminiscent of an anime and overall this one surprised me with just how good it is. I thoroughly enjoyed it, it's one of the best games that I have played this year. Next up we have a series of games from Nintendo themselves that are on sale. We've picked the best ones of the bunch, but it's worth calling out that these games are 30% off. Unlike most other publishers, Nintendo rarely go on sale with their games, and when they do, it's never a huge one. So 30% off is probably the best we're going to see. 
First up out of these titles, it's Xenoblade Chronicles 2. If you're not familiar with the series, it's an epic action RPG title with lots and lots to do, loads of areas to explore and lots to find. There's a lush game world to be explored here and many people have sunk at least 80 hours into this big title. Next up, it's one of the best platformers ever made. Yes, Super Mario Odyssey. If you haven't played this one or heard about it, then I don't know where you've been living. This is such an accomplished title. I'm not the biggest fan of 3D platformers in all honesty. I find them to often be quite fiddly with the controls and the camera scheme, but Super Mario Odyssey is made so well that they made a convert out of me. Simply put, if you're after a brilliant platformer, then you literally cannot go wrong with this one. Dragon Quest Builders 2 combines one of the most loved RPG series in Dragon Quest and throws in a Minecraft feel to produce Dragon Quest Builders 2. This game is vast and epic, there's so much to do, but it has a laid back feel to it that's a joy to play. If you enjoyed the first one, then this is more of that, refined down and produced in an even better package. Overall, if you're into building games and you like RPG elements, then you can't go wrong with this one. And last up from Nintendo, it's the game that started the whole thing, it's The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, an amazing game that was made just to showcase how good the Switch can be. I cannot imagine that any game has sold more Nintendo Switch consoles than this one. If you haven't played it, you are really missing out on one of the best ever games to be produced. And at 30% off, I would urge anyone who's just picked up a Switch to go and pick this up. I cannot wait for the sequel of this one. And if you haven't played it yet, then I am a little bit jealous of you. Do enjoy it. It's been epic this week. There's some fantastic games to be had. Do let us know down below what you're going to pick. And ending things, it's Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. This is the spiritual successor to Castlevania. I found this to be an amazing game. Me and the whole team thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, on the Nintendo Switch, the performance isn't as good as on other platforms, though the developer has done some patchwork to improve that i do think though the reality is it's a lot of hyperbolic statements from people it's not as bad as people have made out personally i think that if you're after that sort of game you can't go wrong here it's a brilliant title and that's it from us today i hope you've enjoyed this video i thoroughly enjoyed producing it for you let us know down below what your picks are going to be and as i said there are likely to be north american sales very soon so we'll probably cover that next weekend we'll see you then and if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing for more content like this delivered to you weekly as an additional bonus we're giving away a nintendo switch and zelda link to the past when we get to 50,000 subscribers all you have to do is subscribe to be entered in with a chance for that have a great week and i'll see you again next week take care